but in the, in, in the curry kitchen they are the pan of choice because as you rightly said they heat up quicker and the other thing about the aluminium pan which is um, which I've covered this in a video that I've done on YouTube is that they don't have hot and cold spots if you look at a stainless steel pan they're usually a, a thicker base as well these are designed to be thinner so they will not only conduct the heat uh, more effectively but they'll heat up very very quick and you're ready to cook within seconds um, but the, the the outer edge will be as hot as the inner whereas on a stainless steel pan you'll have hot and cold spots on the pan so that's the other reason um, now the, the the partner to the uh, the curry pan is the is the chef spoon a metal chef spoon people at home um, if they're cooking at home they, they might have a plastic um, spoons and utensils and or wooden spatulas or whatever um, the reason that, that you use metal with metal is because you scr constantly scrape off the residue um, these pans um, the, the cooking of curry in these pans facilitates what I call as roasting in other words it's 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 caramelizing the base and the spices and it's sticking to the bottom of the pan so it requires constant attention sometimes it looks like they're making a lot of noise and they're clattering around in the kitchen is it all done for show um, maybe a bit of it is you know they set fire to it and all this but that's not necessary but um, basically the constant sort of you know scraping it basically you know it's just that motion really when you sort of cook it you can be pushing it back and forward like that just constantly moving it off off the base so it doesn't completely burn but then that motion that's that you just learn that that's that's basically you'll see them all doing that just that turning it and as you do that you sort of you are doing that a little bit of that and like that and that um, will will make sure your curry doesn't burn in the pan so this is a 30 gram chef spoon this is pretty standard really um, this is what you want to go with because it will it will work with the pan um, now coming back to what we were talking about earlier um, the, the the, the best chefs prefer in Indian restaurants thinner aluminium pans like this is brand new they will thin out a bit um, if, if you listen to that uh, listen to that one that's been used higher pitch because there's less aluminium it's, it's thinner so um, like when I was working in the in the takeaway I'd have my favorite pan you know I'd have 10 15 pans but there'd be one favorite pan that was thinner than the rest and uh, if I wanted to make a really good curry, wanted to impress a customer, it was a new customer or whatever, I had time on my hands, I could choose a pan, I'd always go to my go-to pan and it was always the thinner, thinner pan. Because, uh, you know, it, 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 it's like you're cooking with the bare flame almost, because you've got instant heat and you, you can manipulate it. What you've got to do, that's the pro. The con of it is when you sort of switch in from your traditional sort of cooking utensils and pans and everything to this uh, style of cooking with aluminium is that there's a less room for error. You have to pay a little bit more attention to it. You can easily muck it up. And, and in the early days, you know, I honestly threw that many pinkeries in the bin because I just lost, you know, you've got three or four on there and you're trying to do your barges and your patties and you're doing the, the one man show thing. Uh, and it's just ruined in seconds, you know. That, that's it. It's a definite no-no to use uh, non-stick pans because you won't get the result. It won't stick to the bottom of the pan, therefore you don't get to scrape it. And if you do scrape it, you'll be scraping Teflon on into your curry and you don't want that because it's not going to be good for you. So um, some people are still sticking with non-stick pans. It just doesn't get there. If you can't get hold of aluminium pans, I know you've got one, so this doesn't apply, but... Um, you know the next best thing would be a cast iron not cast iron but uh, what they call a um, black iron pan they're they're pretty thin um and and they'll get a pretty good result not as effective as as that um so that's pretty much it about the pan and, and the spoon you want to get used to these really um if you're going to get yourself that outside burner get used to 
using this rather than measuring everything out. So you've got to get used to your measurements. So, for example, if we were making um, madras, is a pretty much benchmark curry, and we'll, we'll go off that. Um, with a madras, you've got your oil in the pan. That's just reached nice temperature. It's nice and hot. So in with your garlic and ginger paste. After that. <laughs>